I am from the Philippines. I am from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica. If you're new to this channel, please continue watching and please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so that when we do post new videos, you'll get a notification. Ah, great job! <laughs> hey, we're getting that down. Okay, welcome to our weekly Chica Chica again. So what's the update? What was our happening last couple days? We had a, lot, we had a fair amount happen. You know, not a huge amount. But we did. Even but we I'm did. Working. We managed to get a bunch of stuff done and, and go do some stuff. Even um, I'm working like 65 Yeah, days. she's still working seven days a week. Um, yeah. It, it, it's 70, hours. 70 hour work weeks that, that she's putting in. It's, it's not good. Honestly, it's not like healthy, but it would finish at the end of the month. So hopefully in me being... We're actually 10 when we started uh, Associates, a group of accountants. And suddenly, like, yep, they're gone. So <laughs> and, One out of 10 left. <laughs> the, we did go down to SNR uh, Wholesale uh, yeah, Club. Is it SNR Wholesale Club or SNR Club? S we went to have S our membership like that. You know, it's like Costco. So it's it's like literally Russian. identical to Costco. Uh, matter of fact, they even have Co the the Costco brand Kirkland. Uh, it's just a Filipino take on it, and a lot of the goods that we think of as local in Arizona are actually imported here. But they do have a lot of them there. It, it's a way way cool thing. But like Costco. That they've got them in, in pallet lots, pretty much. Yeah. You don't you don't buy a box of cereal; you buy a wheelbarrow full. <laughs> uh, and where we're staying right now, that's just not terribly conductive. Yeah, the, we are. We're actually technically we're leaving like nomads. Like we try to be minimalistic. Yeah, we've kind of got a nomad lifestyle. Uh, I, I'm gonna try and do a video today okay. or tomorrow uh, of the uh, review of the apartment. I, I, I promise I will try and get that done. You get busy. I get yeah. busy, so. Uh, we also went to Sorrel Gardens. Yes, we did. And, and we found out we went to the wrong Sorrel Gardens. We didn't know there was two of them. There's actually a lot, three or four of them. Well, there's one that's Sorrel oh, Photo there's Sir Gardens Brian, and there's that one. we went to, and then there's Sorrel Little Amsterdam. Yeah. That was like half a kilometer, about 500 meters further we up the road. We need to go back there and see. Uh, we've talked about it. We're probably, we're certainly, we're definitely going to the Taos Temple, barring any major rainstorms this Saturday. <laughs> Maybe it changed and then suddenly go to Cerro after Taos Temple. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, because it's just close to us, and if we have time, we don't know. So yeah, so, <laughs> we are like always jumping. We we don't know. Right. That uh, we've invited a friend of ours. Uh, matter of fact, she's having a girls' night out with uh, the 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 lady friend. Yeah. And, and so, uh, we'll know a little bit more tonight. But uh, yeah, I'm planning to ask them if what food they want: Korean, Japanese, American. <laughs> I like the look on your face. That was cute. Oh really? Sorry, I don't mean. Embarrassing. <laughs> it's the Philippines. American food is not what you're thinking of here. In yeah, all three of I'm you thinking are like, Filipinas. No, we're we're not eating Filipino. We just all we're always eating Filipino food. Yeah, so yeah, but your Japanese food and, and your Malay food and your other like food, Korean Filipino. foods, it, it, it's way more authentic than, than anything we would get in the U.S. Yeah. That, it, that it's I not like an American it. take. It's or Vietnamese. Take. So my option is pho, because I, I miss the pho soup, uh, the ramen noodles, and a Korean is kikimbap. Kikimbap. So it's mixed with vegetables and meat and rice and yeah, it's like yeah, it's really good. So I'll give them those options. Oh my God, I'm so well diverse. You can mix with different <laughs> countries. <laughs> but uh. And what else? Uh, we went to the restaurant in Fort Four Terraces. Oh, we went Mayala. to this place called The Social. Yeah, Social Club, uh, High Club, something like that. 
It was a, a, a really cool experience. The, we had burgers, and the, burgers they were though. actually pretty much Western style like burgers. It. And their patties were their their huge. their portions were American sized, and that that was kind of surprising. That typically you get uh, a burger here. And it kind of reminds me of that uh, 70s uh, Burger King commercial, Where's the Beef? <laughs> and it's gone. And you, you get a little quarter size, maybe half a dollar size patty on a bun. Yeah. And you may actually get one or two bites of actual meat in there. So. Yeah. But this one, that was actually a really good burger. And they had bacon on it, which yeah. was kind of a surprise. The, re uh, the one thing um, I realized, too, I told you last night when we have pizza from SMR, and I told you, it seems we're living in a Western lifestyle because yes, we are living here at a condo place and we could easily order food in food. We call it food panda here, right? In the yeah, that, US uh, it's over eats or some sort of. But yeah, we ordered pizza last night on Saturday. We ordered KFC. KFC. Pizza last night was eight bucks. Yes. Uh, KFC was 12 yeah. and we, we still got half a pizza left uh, when we ordered KFC we got two complete meals out of that one yeah and so it's it, it's way less expensive here sure. um, but it, it is it's Western food you know the, the, you got three months worth of fish and rice and now it's at, at the at, at hometown so I'm getting a couple months worth of uh, yeah. Western food here so the lessons learned is depending on whatever um we call that season of life yeah i guess i told you like the last three months were we've in, I stayed in cebu it's totally different season of our life like Very it's much more so. geared to family fam my family and i appreciate you you know so and here it's also different like we'll be one month and staying and extending another month so we don't know we're gonna go next <laughs> well we we have extended we we came in uh january 9th and, yeah uh checkout was today but we've already extended yes and, and so we, we we extended from march 10th march t uh february 10th to march 10th yeah and so we are staying an extra month here yeah uh but that's with your job that it's actually continuing until the end of February. Yeah. And she's starting to talk with the boss about extending that position even. And we'll know more in the next week or two. Yeah, at the end of the month or basically. So. Uh, and, and kind of tying into that, we got some news on another home front. Yeah. Mama and Papa got to my life finally and yeah. talked with the uh, squatters squatters and the um, so they said that they're giving two months for the people the squatting the area because there are corn planted so it need to be by may or april get harvested so we we don't want to you know hey you made it and they work so hard for that that that's not here in the philippines it need we don't have papers it's always face to face like you need to it's heart to heart I will say oh. you know it's like uh, if we're like really bad person we can just like hey that's our property you're not allowed to do that but no it's because we pay a lot of respect it's like we value people here then money it's the relationship that we're building like to the community like we, my parents are gone uh, for like over 10 years because of a lot of recent family and financial and everything. So it's a tribe. Uh, that area is owned by a, a native, like a tribe. So in the, in Bukinan, we will tell you more. And I'm so excited to tell you more about the tribes in Bukinan once we get there. Like there are actually seven tribes. <laughs> literally so I'm looking it's like the native like a Filipinos like would you imagine that that would exist like so and, and it does so uh, I'm like excited to dig more and research more and share that to you like the other side of like Filipinos that it, it really exists so yeah that tribe it's like the dato well, mama's family has some family still Kind of deep in the mountains, don't they? Yeah. Too, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. 
that that might actually be some cool videos in the future. Yeah. Just to go up and um, take mom and papa, you and I, and go meet some of these relatives. Yeah. That, that may be a really cool uh, video in the future. Yeah. Uh, but, but those are the type of adventures that we're planning on. But how that actually ties in to what's going on is Cindy and I have actually talked about it a couple times. And it's kind of shaping up that it, it, it's becoming more likely, but we're, we're, we still need to talk it over. And there's a few other things yeah. that need to happen. But we may stay until April, May right. here and just extend another month or two. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'd really like to do, and this is something her and I have talked about privately quite a bit, yeah. is have her take a couple weeks in between and just go explore Cebu. There's a ton of things here. Yeah. You could spend a year easy a year. doing nothing but exploring Cebu. Correct. There's so much, and I was like writing it. I said, we didn't even touch the base. Like, we need to go to north. And we even didn't have the chance to go south. And <laughs> like, imagine that. We wanted to get down to Oslo and go diving with the whales, whale sharks again. Uh, go snorkeling and diving. And things came together for Mama and Papa so quick that. Uh, that didn't pan out, and, and that that's something. It's only about two hours south of here, three hours south of here. So it, it's something that is still on the table, but you know, may or may not. Uh, Cindy's never really explored the northern part of Cebu. Yeah. Uh, north of Cebu City, there's a whole huge part of this province. Uh, you said you desperately want to go to Mount Mount. Mount Malapasqua and uh, what's the other one? The Bentayan Island. Bentayan Island. The Bentayan Island is a big island north, uh, almost at the northern tip of, of Cebu. Yeah. And Malapasqua. Malap Malapasqua. Malapasqua is a small island off the northern coast that is within its own circle is world famous for diving. It, there's a sea mount that the uh, thresher sharks come to. Yeah. And the uh, scientists don't completely understand why they hang out there so much, so long. But there's actually a couple of big biology uh, labs that have, or colleges, university programs that have labs up there. Yeah. And a couple of years ago, they managed to find the first, uh, get the first video of a thresher shark giving birth that the professor that was diving thought the shark was taking a poop and didn't realize it until they got back and were editing the the video that they took. And then he suddenly saw the poop start to swim away and started zooming in and cleaning up the video. Oh, <laughs> that's not poop. <laughs> it's a baby shark. <laughs> that, uh, but that was the first time they'd ever seen, the, that anybody had ever, uh, documented uh, thresher, thresher, thresher sharks giving birth. <laughs> uh, and the seamount comes up high enough that it's actually within recreational limits, that it's, it's at the end of recreational limits. I don't think Cindy and I will be going out there. Yeah. Uh, but it, it is within recreational limits and so that there's a fairly decent tourism industry out there for it. Correct. But Hopefully, in, in a couple weeks, that we'll know a lot better on how much time, if you'll have time off, because after this season is done for the taxes, that they almost immediately go back into regular preparing books for uh, an April figure. Financial like audit again. Like we have audit for taxes, and then we get audit again for real, okay, for real financial so, figures. But. These things are starting to come together, and as they do, we'll keep you updated and start making some good videos. Yeah. Thank so, you so much for watching. Keep an eye out Friday for the Sorrel Gardens. That one will be up on Friday. <laughs> Thank you. Mabuhai. Love you.